You know that impulsive what have I done feeling that only seems to happen when you are a toy collector? That's what this is today. What? What did I do, man? This is big. Hey everyone, I'm Lauren Stone with Toy Wizards, that's toy-wizards.com, and I'm here for another impulsive toy review. This is a beast. Whew. Before we get started, give this video a big like and subscribe to Toy Wizards on YouTube so you don't miss a single one of our updates. I didn't buy a Unicron. I didn't buy a Sentinel. I didn't buy a Jabba Barge. I didn't buy a Snake Mountain by Super 7. But I bought a Baby Yoda from Hot Toys over a year ago. And he's here. Yeah. Let's take a look at it together. We're gonna unbox this beast because as you guys know, Hot Toys are like, we gotta, we gotta coax this one. We gotta give it some time. Like you have to, we have to, we have to touch the nooks and crannies because Hot Toys, you don't just get them all the time. I don't just get them all the time. They're expensive. <laughs> They're art, dude. Like you gotta, you gotta really appreciate this one. And so for my first Hot Toys, I I bought I bought the Baby Yoda, um, the Grogu. His name isn't even on the box. Like that's how long ago I ordered this thing. I ordered it like just after, like while season one was still premiering or just when it finished and everybody was like, hi from those endorphins. <laughs> and so all the toy companies, like no one was ready for Christmas if you recall, I think the toys started coming out in like February 2020. And so like we had the Shop Disney and then we had the Mattel and then we had the Hasbro and then we had the Talking Hasbro and then we had the little Cos babies and the little and then it all started snowballing. But before Hot Toys announced their 1-1 one, one scale posable Grogu Baby Yoda the child figure, first Sideshow came to the party. And so because I love supporting what my friends do, I hustled my tuchus right over to Arsenal Comics and Games, which isn't even in my town, but the owner, Timmy, is a good friend of mine, and I love the work he does. So I went over to Arsenal once he said, you know, I can order these things for you, the Hot Toys, the Sideshow, the Mezco, so don't order things like that online, order them in my store. So make sure if you guys have a favorite comic book shop that you're ordering what you can in store, because why not? You get to walk out with this huge thing and hope no one steals it from you, it's great. So, I went over there and I ordered the Sideshow statue. It was like $360. It was like way too much. And in my opinion, honestly, it didn't even look that good. And I knew, I'll show, I'll, editing, editing Lauren, can you put in a picture of Sideshow's Baby Yoda statue? Thank you. No problem. I didn't even think the Sideshow one looked that good, but it was like a hype train I didn't want to miss out on. And I thought for a Sideshow, Piece, that was a reasonable price so I ordered it and then a few I can't even remember it's all fever dream now I don't remember if it was a few days later a few weeks later but a little bit later the hot toys one was shown off and it looked so good and it was maybe $50 more about it was about $50 more for that hot toys version so I was like yeah I need I need that one because it doesn't look wonky in the pictures it, it didn't have like whatever was a little bit off about the sideshow statue the hot toys figure again posable didn't have those same issues now i got to actually play with some hot toys and examine them for the first time when scott and i went over to arsenal comics and games to do some unboxing of some premium toys um those videos are already up you can check them out if you just take a peek um but yeah so you know that was my first time getting to touch Hot Toys. So we first looked at the like 12 inch, 1 6 scale, like Spider Man, I think it was, and that was cool. But then I got to play with the Venom Pool. That was the big old chunky. So we have, you know, those 1 6 scale, beautiful 
12 inch hot toys and then we have like big and chunkies or life-size ones and that's what we have today with the the child the baby yoda the grogu so enough of me yapping let's let's experience this together i also have to note that you know as you guys might be aware i've done some reviews on some of the other um you know baby yodas that have come out like i've basically bought them all or a good portion of them up until this point and they all range kind of like from toy toy to like nicer toy i thought that 60 dollar um animatronic one was really nice i thought it was a great toy for its price there's one that looks similar to it that doesn't have the animatronic but it still coos and makes sounds if you touch its head and the two of those are built on a very similar engine i think my favorite one might be the mattel one with the vinyl head a little bit bigger has the soft body and i really think that for that 24 dollars that toy which was the first one after the shop disney plush which as no that one sucks like it was not a nice looking toy at all and then we had the whole thing with the bootlegs that came out after it that's really funny um i digress but yeah it was that mattel plush that honestly impressed me more than the hasbro baby yodas even though the, the hasbro ones are really nice looking too but we've reached the crescendo of the baby yodas with hot toys so let's open it up let's take a look and i want to see if you guys agree all right let me reach it's over there let me just all right Oy. yep <laughs> what have i done would i have been better off with a unicron I don't even know what's happening over here. Hi! So, this is a slip cover. This box is really, really cool. So, let's... I opened it a little bit yesterday just to make sure there were no zip ties or anything there where I would fumble. <laughs> I didn't want to look like a fool in front of you guys with Baby Yoda. All right. So, this is a slip cover. Okay. So, we have this box. And so, it's window packaging, but it's like, you know, french fries. Oh, there's a magnet. You start buying premium, man, the magnets show up. It's so cool. Whoa. There he is. He's in there. So, let's take a look at this box. Very Star Wars. Very on brand. Vandalorian, the child. Yeah, again, this was manufactured before the name Grogu was revealed. So there is no Grogu. There is only the child um, branded all over this box. Slide him out. That's, that's your life-size Grogu. There are several layers of tray here. And we'll go, we'll, we'll look at all of them. We're gonna, we're gonna examine this. This piece, unlike some other hot toys, is not accessories galore. We have one extra set of ears, two more pairs of hands, so it's a total of six hands, three pairs. We have his little ball toy, and then we have the necklace with the, you know, skull charm thing. And I do have to say that I, you know, felt the necklace yesterday. I was curious. Um, and it is plastic. I don't know if that's cutting costs. I don't know if that's to protect the toy so, like, metal won't scratch it. But I was, I was surprised by, like, this is a $400 figure. This is a 
massively premium toy and I got this like tchotchke as hell tchotchke for him to wear. So I'll show you guys. I'll show you. I'll show you everything. Let's keep going. Right, so we slip that off. All right, baby, get over here. He is, you can see, I'm gonna show you close up, but you can see the little fuzzy hair from here. Oh my gosh, look at that. There, that's that's the Grogu. Right, there he is. All right, I'm gonna hold you like this. I'm gonna take off this tray so we can get to our final layer of accessories when we're ready so that everything is accessible <laughs> oh look at the baby oh how could you not want to save him all right I'm gonna take off the plastic on his hands beautiful paint job so much rosiness we're gonna come back to the hands because that's not why we're here. Although I have to say, I am so thankful for the little peg. I'm so thankful for the little peg that's on his hands because when the hand came off that big chunky venom pool I was playing with, I couldn't get it back on because it was like this horrid little stick peg, little metal peg just poking out. And this is nice and big and it's not jumping all around. So we are happy for the ease of use. Only one set of feet. Yeah, you only got one set of feet. I bet you Hot Toys had to go to Disney and ask them what do the bottom of his feet look like to get approved for the design. I'll show you what the bottom of his little feet look like. Adorable, that's what. We're gonna be here for a while together because there's a lot to go over. And that is okay. That is fantastic. All right, dude. Dude, look at him. <gasps> All right. Oh my gosh, he wants a hug. Look at him. Oh my goodness, where do we begin? Where do we begin? Look at this, like, he, he's real. <laughs> he weighs as much as a, as a small baby, I'll tell you that. Um, yeah, well, let's look at the body and stuff together. I don't know where to start. You can see his hair. Look at his eyes. Look at his paint, rubber face. So like, here's his little mouth, his teeth. Oh my God, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna. I'm so easily amused and such a mom. I'm like, he's a he's making baby. Wow. I mean, cons it's a hot toys. So, I don't need to gush about the careful consideration in the sculpt and the high quality of the materials um because it's I mean, yeah. <laughs> Duh, it's a hot toys. If if it was any less, we'd be very upset. But this robe is spectacular. I'll lift it so we can kind of see what's going on with the engineering. But yeah, there he is. The ears are stuck on with magnets and there is another set of ears. And here's what his little feet looked like. If you ever wanted to know what Grogu's feet and the underside of his feet look like, there we go. Now you know. This is just stunning. I mean, all, all the details. The robe is made of like this canvas with this really nice like lining, fur lining underneath. Like this is what it would look like. So he's wearing a little onesie, a little bodysuit to protect the body obviously. So like this is foam. Foam. So this is not, again, this is not like your sideshow statue this is a posable figure how posable you know I'm not sure um, let's 
see what we can do. Of course, it's me, so I'm like, I don't want to break him because he costs a lot of money. But, you know, we still got to show off what he does. So, we have a little bit of, you know, articulation here, posability. Legs move back and forth very easily. There we go, they do move. He does stand on his own, but he also does come with a stand. Even from when I just took him out of the box, you can see the movement. The hands are on the joint. It's like a joint and a peg. So the hands come on and off on a little peg, but surrounding the peg is this full motion joint. So he really can pose his hands however you need him to. And we'll go over some of the other hands that are in that box right now. Look at his little smile. All right, you gotta, let's, he, again, he only comes with one set of feet. So let's pose your legs in a way, because you were standing a minute ago, so let's get you standing again. But again, comes with a stand. That is nuts looking. Like, of course, this was the last thing revealed. So that we already bought all these other Baby Yoda toys, and this one's like kind of the only one you need. I probably spent almost as much in other Baby Yoda stuff as this guy costs. So, <laughs> but again, most of those things are for my daughter because she has she has Grogu madness just like everyone else. They all everyone loves this character, and so my daughter can play with those more um, you know toys, the utilitarian children's toys, and. Uh, Mama, Mama just adopted a very expensive <laughs> little boy. Oh my gosh. So again, the ears come on and off with magnets. I'll show, I know he looks sad and scary without them. Oh my God, who are you? Battle angel. <laughs> I'll get the other ears. So I'll get all the accessories right now. Can you stand right there without falling? Don't move, don't move. I know you're not supposed to leave baby standing alone on tables. Don't move. Here's what we have for the accessories. So, you know, again, com so compared to what we have for other hot toys, it's not a ton. We have, again, the display stand. We have two more sets of hands. We have the ball and we have the necklace. We'll start with the ball and the necklace. So you can put his hand like that. And, you know, it's the top of the, oh, it's mag, bless you, hot toys. It's magnetized. Oh, I didn't know. I am so happy. So there's his ball. And here is his charm. Maybe there's a magnet in here and I'm about to get real impressed. But again, this is very much plastic. Um, the paint job is still nice. I always appreciate a good chrome versus just, you know, gray um, when it comes to silvers, but it, it is very much plastic. But again, who's wearing this? You know, not not my kids, so. Let's just take that off. I hope that those fuzzies on the hair just continue to stay nice and pert and fuzzy. There we go. There we go. Gotta put that under the collar, you know? Gotta make it sit right. Don't move, don't move. So he has a little necklace on, which, you know, I'll keep on him for when I display this, cause why not? It's an iconic accessory. It looks cute, breaks it up. There we go. Like, how could you not want to help this little critter? Like, he's just so adorable and helpless and sweet. There we go. Beautiful. I am so, I am just still gushing about this, this having magnets. I, I, uh, so happy that he can just hold that. Because that wants to be lost. That wants to, that wants to get lost. And I really don't want it to get lost. Next up, let's look at the other set of ears. And we can decide which set we like better for him to wear consistently. I think these might be the sad ears that are drooping downward. And um, 
It might be too much for me. I don't know. I don't want to see him sad. <laughs> it makes me sad. It's too much. It's just, it's like emotions in overdrive. All right. Let's, excuse me. See, his ears are sort of down and back. Not a huge difference, but you know, it does. It does just just like eyebrow positioning, it does change, you know, how the character is feeling and what he's going through. So ears B, ears A. Ears A. Ears B. Which one are your favorite? I think I'm going to put A back on because I like the I like the up versus back, but still both super cool. Back to A. Then we're gonna look at the hands and the stand. And then I think you guys have seen it all. Really nice hard material on these. Hard plastic on the ears. Again, the face is definitely, you know, more rubber, rubberized and we can make the little mouthy, you yeah. know, a little bit. But he's so cute. Stop judging. There we go. Our next set of hands. Here's the hand he's currently wearing. Here is another hand. Take this one off so you can see. Significant differences in just the openness of the hands. I think he's using the force for this one. This might be his little force hand. And again, just that detail in the paint, that pink blush that's inside the ears, that's all over his face. It is absolutely spectacular. I mean, again, it's Hot Toys, so you know what to expect, but like to see it in person is Gosh, we're, it's just breathtaking. It's breathtaking. Like, I, I'm losing my mind. Like, it's just so beautiful. We're going to look at the last set of hands together. And the last set of hands over here. Aw, he's making a little wish. Here we go. All right, so... Let's just check out the three left hands together. They are a little more minty green. They look He looks on the camera right now while recording. You know, it's gonna look different in post, but um, he looks very foam green and there's definitely a little more Yoda green in person. Um, you know, kind of like, how would I describe it? He's showing up very like pale, Sea foam when in reality he's a pale mint. <laughs> you know, if I have to if I have to Crayola it. So here's his some left hands. One. Two. I like that finger up. I like that open, the kind of openness. There we go. And the right hands. One, two, three. Again, that's using the force, and I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, does not have magnet. Magnet here. And does not have a magnet. Okay, so only, okay, so it's not even one set of hands. Only this literal clutched hand can, you, can hold the ball, which is fine. There we go. That one can hold his ball. And it is a right hand. So you kind of get a choice between using the force with your right hand or holding the ball with your right hand. Um, I do like that kind of gangly, witchy, spindly hand as well. That one's cool for the left hand. I think I'm going to put that one on. But just so I don't lose that ball. There we go. 
to hold his ball. So it's like he's out playing, and then a bad guy attacked, and he's like, stop, I'm gonna use the force on you. That's how I'll have him pose at least for a little bit. Why not? Who is stopping me? No, you can't hurt me. I have magic. And then let's get the stand. I'm not 100% sure where, see, okay, there are instructions, so. See, we have the stand with, a, with the stick. So I just have to find, oh, there we go. How, does it go, it might go between his legs. I want to figure out how I'm supposed to display him on the stand correctly, but there's also a battery section right there. So I'm going to look at the instructions real quick. Let's see if he lights up or if there's any other features that we're missing. Editing Lauren, do a speed read montage if you don't mind. Oh, his mouth opens. Wow. I don't know. I don't want him scared and like shocked all the time. <laughs> now it's too close. Yeah, I like him like that. I like that. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of open mouth. All right, now my instructions don't say anything about the base, but there is a battery pack on the base, or on the stand, rather. So, I will be right back, and I'm gonna see if that does anything. Stand by. There's his little balancing pole. These awkward moments. Do I have to lay him on his back? No. Okay. And the instructions, which I've thoroughly read, because I know everybody likes when, when uh, instructions are read, don't mention anything about batteries on the base. But yeah, man, oh my gosh, Hot Toys, Grogu, Baby Yoda, here you are. I think that we covered all of its features. I tried really, really hard because I know that this isn't a piece that everyone is going to get. Um, so let's fluff it up a little bit. Cute. Look at all the detailing up there too. Again, we don't want to miss a single piece on this toy. You have schmutz on you already, you little slob. Don't get schmutzy. All right, there we go. He's on his base right now, on his stand. And there we have it. If I missed anything, you want to see more pictures of him, if there's a detail, let me know. We already saw the underside. Yeah, I think we covered everything here. Um, again, don't want to don't want to accidentally miss a feature. Um, I know people get very upset when that happens, um, but I think I think we covered it all. That's too much for me. That's too much fear. I can't. That's cute. You think so too, Grogu? Yeah. Are you okay with that? All right. You think I should hook you up with lamb chop or something? You want to make friends? I agree. I agree. Let's go dig up the lamb chop puppet from somewhere, okay? All right, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'm Lauren Stone with Toy Wizards. That's toy-wizards.com. Visit our site daily for toy news, reviews, articles, listicles, snarkticles, editorials, opinion pieces, and we'll catch you for the next one. Be good, be safe, have fun, and keep collecting. See you soon. Bye. You done waving? Show off.